Oh, got an intro, ladies and gentlemen. The king of squad builders is here. I don't do these as quick, easy vids for views and just chat shite about the cards. I only put these out if it's perfect. And I'm even going to show you all the instructions I used at the end and not even bait on the title of film anything for you loyal viewers watching this. So starting us off, and she could be the best player on the game, Sadie AKA Sari. Four star, four star. She's basically the female Messi. I genuinely can't get over how good this card is. I'm not even joking. You need females in all these attacking positions in the budget team. Just forget males, honestly. Like she's 5'6, so she'll have the agility and balance. But she has strength because it's relative to other females. Literally, people bounce off her all the time. But yet she twists and turns as well. She can dribble, rounds the keeper with absolute ease. It got to a point. Goalkeepers started sitting down for her. They did not even bother anymore. And that finishing, 85, literally, even if you red time it, it will go in. On to the traits. And this first one, <laughs> I might just sit here and let you see him. Every time she opened the body up. Okay, that, again, when you talk about a female, anything can be clipped. It just goes in. Especially if you do that advanced skill. So keep in mind all these goals happening now, which she did with ease time and time again. She has 75 long shots. And I'm pretty sure the Hunter, which is what we use, doesn't even boost long shots. So God knows what would happen if you did boost it. The next must-have in your starter slash 50k team. Kun Dan Nan G. Make him laugh how good these cards are. So she's four star, five star. As you can see, five nine. 91 strength. And it is not a lie. You've got Varan on her back. She doesn't care. Strong enough, but then has that agility to be able to turn. And not only that, because of the five star weak foot, she can do the same thing the other way. By the way, all these new skill moves you're doing, I win a draft only being able to use new skill moves, which is coming out soon. So please subscribe to this channel and like this video right now and comment what squad builder you want me to do next because I do put a lot of time and effort and blood and sweat and tears into this. Anyway, trait. Shit shot trait, which I thought wouldn't do much, but it actually does because even if you get close to the keeper, this trait just makes the ball just like loop in like a quick manner and the keeper just has absolutely no chance. And she can literally do that time and time again. She's got the Traveller, which EAFC decided to just not take out. Which I'm not too unhappy about because if someone wants to park the bus, do it at your peril. Got six playstyles, by the way. And this one, quick step, is one of the best on the game. Do not underrate these playstyles. They're actually class. It's proper making me a virgin this year. I've actually thoroughly enjoyed the start of this game. But it's not about me. It's about this squad builder. So, Ariel as well. She even jumps high. She heads it in from anywhere. I have no idea how she's 13k. To complete our front three, you guessed it, a woman. Same league to get that chemistry going. It's Lud. Miller. And I really like this card for how we play. Because as you see there, bought 2.5k. Bargain in this team. You just need someone to do a job because the coins have been spent elsewhere. You might think three star, three star. Ooh. But it's how you use the team. See here, dribbling. A shooting stats are amazing. Again, jumping and strength. They're just absolute units. And because Sari's so good, we predominantly go down that right. And Lud Miller will just do the simple things. She knows she's limited with the skill moves in weak foot. She'll take good positions once we cut in and just finish because she's class at finishing. You need to use players correctly. And her trait, power shot. So she performs power shots faster as well. Do you know how good a power shot can be when you can get it off quick? It's an absolute game changer. So for our three centre mids, sorry women, but we just... We need a bit more physicality. I don't know why I'm saying it on this player. He doesn't really have it, but he is same club as Lud Miller to get them links going again. It's Thomas Lamar. I absolutely love this card for like all starter squads. He's got his 4-3. 1.8k for a card this good. Look at that dribbling. And his defending says 67, but he's stand tackle. He's 76. That's the important one. I don't know why it's basic. It should be shadow. What has happened there? And the main thing about Lamar, right, the other two centre mids coming up are a bit more defensive. And you know me, I love being versatile. Lamar enables us to go to like a 4-2-3-1. If 4-3-2-1 weren't working much, but he's just as capable in that left centre mid because he can tackle as well. But mainly, he can pass and dribble and he's not a slouch. It is important knowing that on player instructions, he's the only one and get forward as well. We like a bit of imbalance. But a trait! Finesse shots. He's been watching Sarri on that training ground because he can hit a few as well. He's also got Trevella. And trust me, he can definitely hit a few of them. Next up is the absolute glue of the team. Not only on screen for chemistry. This man is probably the current coin for coin king because I've used him in my next starter squad as well. He's irreplaceable at the minute. It is Mikel Marino. By the way, this isn't just a La Liga team. Don't worry. <laughs> and before we get to anything else, 
I just seen that power shot tree. My very first game, three minutes in, he just bangs that in. I was like, okay, he might have a player on our hands here. Because I thought he was just going to be a six foot two unit, using them defending stats to just sit there, protect whilst the others did the attacking. How wrong was I? Because this man can twist and turn as well. This man can pass a ball. This man is everything to me right now. 1.7 thousand coins. Why? We have our third and final centre mid here, and the manager might give away who it is. Ishmael Benesser. Some of you are going to be so annoyed that all three centre mids are left-footed. I know because I was, but I had to do it. Because this lad, again, is something else. Honestly, having him and Lamar either side in centre mid, and with how left stick dribbling is on this, you can just turn and just visit into people. It really gets the attacks going. And passing is really important on this game. You can't just have quick destroys in centre mid. You can still get the ball forward. And it has to be that incisive pass. It has to be. They just fizz so much better. They've got 83 stand tackle. Mainly is acceleration is the higher bit of the pace, which is all you need in centre mid. You just need that little burst of interception. Or a little burst away in a pass. Honestly, unbelievable. He had to be in the team no matter what. And this is where it all starts coming together because we've got a link to Lamar and a link to Benesser. One of the quickest budget centre-backs we have, Kalulu. Him bumping up Benesser and Lamar's chemistry was enough to have him in, but he is more than solid. And I'm telling you, this anticipate, this stand tackle thing is class because he just get there. They have like an extra little lunge and he should have a slide tackling trait because he doesn't half put a few in. And listen, he can even keep up with Evolution's Beto. Levels! And his partner, no prizes for guessing who, who watched the squad builders of last year. He was always going in. He was basically the first name on the team sheet. Lucas Klosterman. Who else? Downgraded, I don't care. Again, he's got an 81 pace. And again, that down tackle and the slide tackle. I don't know why he's rated 79. I would love to know. That defending does not equal a 79 card. And neither does like this drip. I don't, I don't get it. I'm actually quite annoyed. But it works if he's cheaper, doesn't it? No defending trait, which is an absolute lie. Because again, it looks like he should have a slide one. And listen, he'll even injure people. If he has to. And because we had to play Klosterman, there was only one person who was ever going to play left back. And it just fits so nice. Raoum, same club, same nation. Three leagues that now. And this lad is absolutely rapid, by the way. I don't know why I'm still doing that. That crossing 85 with this crossing trait. Do not underestimate that on this game because them OP crosses are still in the game. Again, unfortunately, no defending traits, but he holds his own in defense, but attacking is unbelievable. Just keep whipping that ball. And we stay at RB Leipzig for the goalkeeper, Galaxy, tried and tested like last year. And more importantly, gives Raum and Klosterman that much needed one chemistry boost, which is massive at the rating that they are. And last, but certainly not least, we end with another female. Sounds like she should be English. Sheila. And this woman is key to absolutely everything we do. That link with Sari on that right-hand side is unbelievable. Her passes inside, she can fizz it. She's got this rapid place, I'm telling you. When she's in front of the man or woman, they are not catching up. Not now, not ever. And this tray here, this is a massive one. I think her, Marino, and Sari have it like, look at their stamina. Look what it's like in the 73rd minute of the game. They literally go all game. And what's even more impressive is she's on overlap the whole game. So she's literally up and down, not on stay back. Raum is stay back, because like I said, we go a bit lopsided. Because we want to build the attack down that right-hand side with Sari and Sheila. And then if we come inside, we can have Lud Miller on stay central there, as you see. She'll tuck in, just come in for the little touches, bang and goals, like you've seen before. Kundanji, just get her to stay central because she can go either way. We have Marino and what should be Ben Asur there on stay back. And then Lamar's on the left on get forward. I just changed it to get Lamara finesse shot for the vid content king and as a bonus this is your best starter so bench let me know which starter squads you want me to do next thanks